Hello everyone. One Maple Grove ice dancer is headed to a national competition with her ice dancing partner. The pair is only one of 12 couples in the nation who qualified for the competition. Reporter Meredith Hackler shows us what it took to get there. At six in the morning, most high school freshmen are sleeping, but not Bella Gollum. Bella can be found at the Maple Grove Ice Arena with one of her coaches by her side. Love, discipline, and goal setting definitely are what creates someone who wants to strive to be a champion, which Bella is striving to do. Bella started ice skating competitions when she was 10 years old. During her first competition, she took first place. That was something that I think was like even helped motivate me more and I was like hey I have this I got this I really want to pursue this deeper and Bella did pursue the sport deeper not long after Bella started skating her now coaches thought she and her current partner Skylar should ice dance and compete together I really liked it I enjoyed having the company of someone I thought that it was a very creative discipline in figure skating, a lot like ballroom dance, which is something that I like to watch. So I said, Mom, I want to keep doing this, and I want to get better at this. Ever since then, Bella and Skylar have been crushing goals together. They will be part of 12 teams competing for that chance to be the national champion of the juvenile ice stance. While the pair qualified for nationals, they also won special awards at their qualifying competition. They had the highest point value for a difficult lift, and they had the second highest point value for their free dance routine in the nation. And while Bella's positive attitude has helped her achieve several goals, all I need to do is stay humble and keep progressing. She says she wouldn't be able to do it without her family and coaches. In Maple Grove, Meredith Hackler, CCX News. Bella and her ice dancing partner will compete at the 2019 Geico U.S. Figure Skating Competition in Detroit, Michigan on January 19th and 20th. And we are cheering you on.